Hymns of praise echoing one week after bombs exploded Easter Sunday. The faith is shaken but not lost. Parishioners cloaked in white gathering inside Archbishop Malcolm Ranjit's residence in Colombo Sunday. Other worshipers forced to watch the Mass on television from their homes. The Archbishop canceled Sunday services in Catholic churches over safety concerns, complaining about the lack of security around churches. Other Catholic leaders calling for peace. Be calm. Don't fight with each other. Fear not only keeping people out of houses of worship, but also off the streets. The Sri Lankan people still facing the unknown. Yet they're moving forward in the healing process. The country's president, prime minister, and opposition leader, all non-Christians, attending the mass, lighting candles for the victims. Officials saying the link to ISIS is clearer now than ever before. Over 250 people died in the terror-targeted blast last week. Here at home, Brooklyn's Bishop Nicholas DiMarzio condemning the attacks. This was planned by clearly uh, terrorists uh, in the name of Islam, which is a hijacking of the religion of peace. But it's unfortunate that these, uh, th this kind of terrorism is happening. The bishop stressing the importance of Pope Francis's papal journey to the UAE in February. The Holy Father signed a historic document with interfaith leaders called Human Fraternity for World Peace and Living Together had 10 points, but two of the things that really affect us in this particular case is that houses of worship m must be protected and not be uh, targeted for any kind of terrorism, and that uh, people uh, should be able to live together in peace. As calls for peace continue, Sri Lankans remain resilient. Their hearts are full even as their houses of worship remain empty. Hartman, Currents News.